Okay, this is Simple Gear Train B, two gears, different sizes, a larger gear and a smaller gear. On Simple Gear Train B, we'll notice that they are attached to the test bed with two axles again that are both parallel to each other. This gear also has a hand crank attached to one of the gears, so that is the driver gear. And that drive gear moves the driven or output, input to output. Inputs the, the handle, the crank, the power. The output is the other gear. On this particular arrangement, we have it connected smaller gear to larger gear. Notice that the type of movement is rotary. And notice that they are touching and one goes clockwise while the other one goes counterclockwise. On this gear, we have a mark on it. And if we turn this gear, the gear ratio will be five to three. Five turns here to three turns here. That's a five to three ratio. What this does is it transfers the power from here to here and having the larger gear in the output will provide more torque, more power but it will be less speed, so the speed will decrease. Increased power, decreased speed. The flow of power on this is reversible because I can turn the output and it makes the input gear turn. Again, notice that these turn in opposite directions. This is Simple Gear Train B.